So let's continue the discussion on special features of CPU in PKTNF controller. In earlier video, we have discussed oscillator selection, power on resets, oscillator startup timer, brownout reset. So today we'll discuss power up timer, war dog timer, and fail safe clock monitor. Before we start the discussion on the special features of CPU in PKTNF controller, let us see first clock diagram in PKTNF controller. So in the diagram, you can see there are three clock sources, primary oscillator, secondary oscillator, and internal oscillator block. We have already discussed that oscillators are used to produce the clock and in inside the controller everything happens in accordance with the clock the clock produced by the primary oscillator it is used for usb peripherals secondary oscillator clock is used for peripherals as well as for the cpu and the internal oscillator block which produces the frequencies of 8 megahertz and 31 kilohertz these frequencies are used for peripherals as well as the Wardock timer, PWRT, FSCM and two speed startup. So as shown in the figure, the different frequencies are produced by the three different clock sources, primary oscillator, secondary oscillator and internal oscillator block. Now coming back to the special features of CPU in PKTNF controller. Let's talk about the power up timer. Power up timer provides a nominal 72 millisecond delay after a POR, BOR, or MCLR reset is initiated. It operates on a dedicated internal RC oscillator. Just now, in the clock diagram, we have seen there are three oscillators primary oscillator, secondary oscillator, and internal oscillator block. As you can see here in the diagram, internal RC oscillator produces a dedicated 31 kilohertz frequency. So power up timer, it operates on a dedicated internal RC oscillator. Controller is kept in reset as long as the power up timer has not timed out. It allows the VDD voltage of the controller to rise to an acceptable level before the operating. The PWRT delay may vary from device to device due to VDD, temperature and process variations. Fail safe clock monitor. It allows a controller to continue operating if any of these system clock selections, external crystal resonator, ECL, EXTRC or timer one secondary oscillator stop supplying a clock signal. The FSCM uses a logic circuit to monitor the system clock and continuously looks for a loss of the system clock signal. That loss of the signal will trigger the device to switch to the internal oscillator. Now as shown in the diagram, this is the logic circuit to monitor the system clock. To that circuit we have peripheral clock as input and internal RC source which produces a dedicated 31 kilohertz frequency. So this logic circuit monitors the system clock. if there is a loss in the system clock signal that loss of signal will trigger the device to switch to the internal rc oscillator watchdog timer watchdog timer is used for watching over the controller operations watchdog timer is a safety measure that brings the system back to life when system gets hanged and system is not able to come out of some block of code. Basically it's a timer and again it is a free running timer which is independent of the main system clock. It monitors the controller of programs to see if they are out of control or have stopped operating. Wordog timer reset the system to start from the beginning again. 